Hello and welcome to a quick lesson on the OSI Layer 7 Threats and Countermeasures Table and Mnemonic. So the phrase you'll need to memorize is larder sh, and we're going to spell it a bit differently in the table, but we're going to say larder sh. And the thought here is that we all know that eating fatty foods such as bacon can make us overweight. And we'll call the bacon lard for the purpose of this video. So like this cat here, looks like our cat that eats too much. So we're going to say larder, shh, and we're going to say the shush because we all are self-conscious about our weight. And then we'll say, I be doing the paleo version someday. And for those of you who don't know what paleo is, it's a type of raw diet that refers to the paleo period. Never tried it, but maybe I should someday. Some people really like it. And I fully realize that this might be too juvenile for some of you especially those of you with a lot of experience in Domain 4, but for the rest of us, it really helps in memorizing the content, especially when reading those thousand-page books full of dry material that seem impossible to understand. And as for the memory sheet, you don't want to write the actual mnemonic itself. You want to write the real information down. And what you're going to do is you're going to make the first letter big and follow it with the actual information. So here we go. Our larder is going to be our larder. Sh, our larder shushing. Our larder sh is going to be L, A R D R S H. So that's our larder sh, sh, shush. And then of course over here our letters are going to be I B do in the paleo version someday. So for our L, we're going to have LDAP code injection. LDAP is your layer seven technology and your threat is going to be code injection and some of your dns threats for this first one we're going to have the a for amplification the r is going to be for reflection attack and the dns and also dns poisoning and of course we rearrange the the order here a little bit just to make the mnemonic work so for dhcp we have rogue you have rogue dhcp is a threat and then for snmp you have information disclosure and HTTP, the fact that it's in plain text. So over here for the IBDD PVS, we have input validation, strong authentication and encryption, and that's going to counter our code injection. For amplification, you have blacklisting, whitelisting, and rate limiting responses. For reflection attack, we have deep packet inspection. For DNS poisoning, we have DNSSEC and hardening DNS servers. For our rogue DHCP, we have port authentication of the MAC address. With, an, with SNMP and information disclosure, we have version 3 with strong encryption. And with HTTP being in plain text, we have SSL, TLS, and HTTPS. So that's the mnemonic. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you need more memory tools such as this one, please check out our other videos. Also, please visit our website, cissprep.net, where we have over 1,300 practice questions in the style of the real exam. And these are questions that make you think, not your typical run-of-the-mill rehash of the common body of knowledge. So thanks again for watching and hope you have a great day.